and uh, I wanted to talk to you about something, and it's about moving away from ideology, specifically the red pill ideology, okay? If you're familiar with my site, you're familiar with red pill sites, you know that the red pill is the truth pill taken from the matrix. The world is seen as this sort of false reality and, you know, your consciousness is being manipulated and things like that. And it's something that I touched on in my video, how to survive and thrive in the matrix. And it's something that's big, become a very overused metaphor over the last five or six years with all these blogs popping up and everyone rehashing the same old alpha male and hypergamy and, you know, all these concepts that we've been hearing for the last 10 years. If you've been in the scene or you've been reading these things. Now, I'm not going to tell you those concepts aren't useful. Those concepts are very useful to understand as a model. And I refer to that model from time to time myself. I also, you know, branded my site to some degree as a red pill site to signal that, you know, there's, I share part of that consensus of that information and it's been useful to my branding. However, there was never a point where I considered myself a red pill guy per se, okay? I'll use that with my friends or, you know, we'll use it to some degree for simplification. But as an ideology, I don't cling to it any more than I do to any other ideology. Be it conservatism, liberalism, libertarianism, any of those uh, concepts. My closest philosophy would be libertarianism, but I never identify as a libertarian because the second you start identifying with an ideology, it allows you to become triggered if that ideology is attacked. It also makes you become dogmatic and rigid in your thinking, okay? This is very important because to be able to move through life, you need to be able to have a type of fluidity to your thinking. And I call it model agnosticism, okay? So you're not tied to any particular model of reality. Um, this is something that you've seen in high-level quantum physics where they're no longer looking to prove objective real laws of, of reality because they've realized that, you know, in the experiments they've done, uh, the subject influences the object in terms of uh, particle distribution on, on these particular experiments. And the observer affects the observed, all right? And this is stuff that you can read about in non-duality in Vedanta and in you know, many of the spiritual traditions, but it's a bit too much to get into in this video. What I want to get into is the idea of being model agnostic, as in not tied to anything, okay? When you're not tied to anything, you are a free thinker. When you're tied to an ideology, you become dogmatic and you also allow people within that ideology to speak for you, okay? I will never be part of a movement and I'll ne never be selling you a movement because I don't see the particular value in that, okay? The only thing that I wanna convey to you is to act within your own self-interest, all right? It is not about saying, okay, I'm a red pill guy, I understand the truth, so now that I understand that, that puts me above these other guys who are wage slaves and, you know, have monogamous girlfriends and things like that. It's really not about that, okay? You might be red pilled, you might understand things on a deeper level than a lot of so-called blue pill guys, but, you know, some of those guys are working jobs and, you know, like my friends back home, they're salesmen, they have monogamous girlfriends, they don't have a deep understanding of game, their understanding of reality is not perhaps as deep as yours might be, but, you know, they're making $250,000, they have a good looking girlfriend, that those, those status symbols and things like that, they still apply in the material world. We are still living in the material world to a lot of a lot of a degree. Okay, so by becoming red pill and thinking you're red pill and thinking that you know it makes you better than other people, that's that not not necessarily the case. Really, the way that you should incorporate uh, the red pill ideas is to use them 
to influence the quality of your life, okay? To influence the quality of your life. Because if knowledge isn't serving you in a positive way, then it's not particularly useful. It's not particularly useful to say, well, I'm a red pill guy, I'm smarter than these other guys and, and, and all this. You know, unless that you are harnessing that particular knowledge to increase the quality of your life. And it is much better to be able to pick and choose which concepts apply to your life and utilize them as strategies instead of an overarching ideology. Because the second you, the second you become part of an overarching ideology, you become dogmatic in your thinking, you become rigid in your thinking, you allow other people to speak for you, that's what you do whenever you identify with an ideology. If you identify with an ideology, then if, you're, if you say, okay, I'm a conservative, then all these different conservative thinkers now speak for you, all right? And it also puts you at odds with a lot of other people. So if you're a conservative, you meet a guy who's a liberal, now there's like this base level antagonism that doesn't have to be there, okay? Now, that's not to say that I don't have political opinions and ideas I just know that they're not fucking they're not relevant because I'm not a decision maker in the political process so it doesn't matter what I think about uh, politics and therefore I don't allow that to trigger me and I don't allow that to fuck up my equilibrium okay because I've moved beyond libertarianism I've moved beyond red pill I've moved beyond all these particular ideologies because they were not serving me, all right? What it comes down to, if I can encapsulate my philosophy in one sentence, is the pursuit of your own happiness at all times, all right? The, the ruthless pursuit of happiness, I would put it that way. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. That's the most beautiful definition of living that I've ever heard, and my political philosophy, I think the best setup we've seen was the original Constitution for the United States with life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, okay? I'm closest to libertarian, but again, I don't let that sentence become political for me. 